Hey Sagittarius, this is Crystal Rose with Comfy Soul and I'm here to do your reading. I'm going to start with the Golden Girls Tarot. It's a new deck I was gifted. Whoop whoop. And uh, thanks to Amanda if you're watching. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with the Golden Girls Tarot. If you're a fan of the TV show, I will make some references to their names and stories and situations and things because it makes the reading so much more fun. If you don't know the Golden Girls, highly suggest you watch. <laughs> But if not, at least you'll get a good reading. And I'm in a good mood, so that's always great. Um, it really helps when you have a deck that you connect with. So if you do like the deck and you'd like to purchase it, there'll be a link down in the description below. Um, also, I'm going to finish the reading with The Answer is Simple by Sonia Choquette. Looks like this on the back. And uh, I'm going to split the deck, and whatever we get at the bottom is your theme for today. Ooh, we have a big caution. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. Look at this. <laughs> so, um, okay. All right. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing. Stop somebody from doing something. You need to stop something. Somebody's spinning and doing something crazy. These penguins are about to get eaten by this shark. So remember that. You may or may not see that card again when I pick your advice at the end. All right, so let's get going. I'm going to lay out six cards in three rows and a card at the end. So today we're going to cover three sections. I'm going to do career first, love second, and then money at the end because I want to show you how money is affected by loving career, relationships, and, you know, what you're doing for work. So I think then you'll be able to start learning my purpose in being here, which is how to find your flame, how to find something passionate to do, and how to find a passionate and attract a passionate relationship through doing that, through doing you, through doing your career, through serving your purpose. My ears are ringing. It's like you guys are super excited about doing that and being in charge of something. I think it's important to you because you're a feeling kind of person and it makes you want to focus on career, but in a fun way. It gives you, like, the idea of doing something that you enjoy doing that's passionate to you just lit you up. I heard all of that. So, um, for you in particular, Sag, that might be your motivation is finding some kind of purpose that you can enjoy and then share that joy with a partner. That might be your main focus here. So, yeah. Here's your overall card for the three rows, the High Priestess. This is someone who's tuned into their intuition, who's meditating or needs to meditate. This is coming from introspection, from wisdom. So definitely you are being pulled by the universe to pay attention to what feels good and what's looking right for you. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Love. Love is very, wow. Okay, but that, I'm not going to talk about that yet. I'm just going to say there's a very strong energy there. All right, let's go to career here. What are you doing? I see you very content with what you've created so far. Coming up is the Queen of Pentacles. I'm steady in my home. I like what I'm doing for work. I'm enjoying being some form of nurturing. So like whatever that is in your work, something you enjoy doing that's coming from your feminine energy, something that uh, you have your hands in. This looks like a very handsy card. So you might be working with your hands um, in a creative manner because this is a feminine energy. So it's softer. Um, it seems like you're doing well with where you're at. Um, you're content there. And I say that because here you are having your cake and enjoying Nine of Cups as the wonderful sweet rose who has beautiful energy. Um, so while you're sitting pretty like Blanche, you're doing okay. Rose is more of a romantic energy, more focused on the heart-centered energy. And then you have the death card. So there's some kind of closer, closure, transformation, 
um, forward movement that you have with your career. You either just achieved a goal that you wanted to be in or you're just about to because something's changing for you. And when your energy changes like that, more opportunities come. This is fast forward motion. Some of you might be moving, maybe overseas. Um, but I see you doing things that you love and you might even be doing this with a partner. Um, four of Wands, because this career, this is like my twin soul card in the tarot. This is how I function. But this is a celebration. This is a party. This is coming together. So maybe you have an upcoming party with work that makes you feel like you really landed. Maybe you're going to show off this Queen of Pentacles at work. Maybe you are the Queen of Pentacles and you get to throw on the dress and you just want to be like, hey. <laughs> But this is completion. This is com this makes you feel good. You feel whole here. This is really feeling like you're on top of the world and um, things are coming full circle. So I feel like you were able to follow your intuition to land, to stay on a path that was good for you despite whatever else might be going on in with love or money. So you might have even lost a bit and come back around, but it's when it's when you're serving your purpose, when you're enjoying what you're doing, that you seem to be the happiest in career. Okay, let's go to love. We have the emperor. Da, 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 da. And this is a boss, which is funny because I just finished the career. But this emperor is in charge, is a leader is a masculine energy. So if you are taking charge of your life and you're seeking someone to meet you in a place of responsibility, someone who is willing to be married, someone who's going to commit, this is a committed person. So you're really looking for a manifestation of a strong masculine energy, regardless of gender, that is going to do the right thing and be responsible and commit and marry and show you that that's their intention. You're manifesting this. And I think the reason that you're manifesting this is because you're looking for justice, which tells me that previously you did not get what you asked for. You didn't get the commitment. Somebody might have played house and then didn't follow through. So you thought you were getting somewhere, but you weren't. You are... hopeful, I'm going to say is the word, maybe too hopeful, maybe over giving or over loving in this situation. Um, because I don't see action either. I don't see, I see you, you might have an opportunity to manifest this, but if you stay too much in the rose energy where you're over giving love and getting nothing in return, well, then you're just going to repeat this cycle of, I'm going to be the boss and I'm going to take charge of this relationship and I'm going to force love and I'm going to try to manifest you being responsible and committing to me. But in the end, I'm just always going to be seeking justice. So be careful with that because I see you here at the end kind of hoarding your energy. Look at those coins there down at the bottom, which means you're not getting what you want or you don't feel safe. Um, but you're, you're perpetually hopeful. So maybe be a little more open to other energies or other people, because I don't want you stuck to this energy. It seems too protective of like, I'm trying to grab and keep and hold. And remember the overall energy is trusting your intuition. So don't ignore your intuition. If you know you're working too hard to try to make a relationship happen, because this is not your job to do here. You are not the one that's supposed to do the work. You're the one that's supposed to receive because you're the queen of pentacles. You're taking charge of your own life. You're making your own money. You're paying your own bills, right? So you know who you are in this situation. If you're the one that's over giving, pull it back. If you need to go make it happen, then go make it happen. Okay. Um, because living with like, I'm in love and then not making that offer to somebody is not helping anyone. So this needs to move forward. Okay. Let's look at money. 
You want to be recognized. I think that you, um, oh, the, I just lost the word. You associate love and money together. So it's like if I have enough money to give, oof, I'm going to say what I heard. I can buy friends because this banner in the back says best friend of the year awards. Don't spend money hoping to keep or gain friends. Don't be overly proud of the money you have thinking that will give you enough recognition because then you'll only be getting love from money but not from actual connections with people. And this is about connection, okay? This is a cup here. This is the six of wands, though, in the background, which is like a passion energy, a lustful energy, an attention-seeking energy. Um, and here you are fighting for it, seven of wands, defending against all odds your money. <laughs> like You're like, I will fight you to the death for my coin. I will fight you to the death for my, my freedom and my sense of adventure. Um, but there's something to be said for you being strong, in order to keep your money rather than being overly defensive, I'm hearing, or using it as a tool. Wow, this is going places I didn't expect it to go. Um, okay, so with your money, you do have a little something to offer. You have a good beginning here. And, and it seems like, it, you know, if something happened before, you recovered. If, um, if you didn't have too much going on, you might have gotten some raises. You might have a bonus coming for Christmas. There's just a little bit more being thrown at you right now, right? And um, you want to share it, but I don't see you sharing it yet. I see you just kind of like enjoying the idea of sharing it. So whether you haven't received it yet or you're the one that needs to make the offer, whichever side of the coin you're on, that's my money joke, coin side, <laughs> I see you tending your garden and saying, okay, seven of pentacles energy. I've started something. Maybe it's time to pick. Is it ripe yet? Can I go after this? Or can I just check on it and see how it's growing on the tree? And I see you starting to want to make an offer, page of cups. So if you're going to, um, if you're going to manifest more money in your life, I would say be open to emotional anything they're telling me, not just romance, not just the idea of starting a new business you might enjoy, but the idea of you know how to make you happy, which is why we started with the Queen of Pentacles. I think you might have been looking for someone else to fulfill that happiness for you previously, and now you're doing it for you, which is why you're trusting your intuition. Because that so far has led you in the right direction to more stable, more abundance, more stability, more abundance. And now you're willing to share that more with someone. But it's less um, over-trusting and lustful and adventurous where you might have gotten into crappy situations by just running free and being romantic. You know what I mean? Like that was a lot. That was too much energy. Okay, let me grab you advice from, the answer is simple, we'll round off the reading this way, and let me shuffle different because I took my little finger pillow off, so I'm recovering from the pit bull attack, so I'm able to move my thumb a little more, and I freed my thumb for shuffling purposes, great. What fell out? I had two things that fell out. So I'm going to run with this. Change the scenery and turn on the light. I'm going to show you them separately so you can take a good look. Notice the artistic endeavors here. Notice the passion in doing something you love. Notice doing something differently than you've done before. So maybe a new career. Maybe you want to start a side hustle. Maybe you're finally understanding, you know, being taken care of or taking care of somebody else isn't what a relationship is supposed to be, and especially financially. It's about enjoying each other, no matter what you have, and sharing that. Not not struggling, not, you know, combining to for the purpose of survival. It has to be emotional and real, not some fantasy land thing. But while you're in fantasy land, please create something fun and change the scenery for yourself so you don't get bored because, you know, you like to move. 
your fiery type energy. Um, and turn on the light. So this is really stepping into your soul and uh, manifesting that connection, that romance, that that being together on the mountaintop, sharing your good feelings, sharing your emotions, sharing, you know, just being, being together and looking at what you've created over the canyon of love, right? So I like this. By you stepping into your soulful energy, you're able to create a different perspective on how the world works and it's a lot more fun for you. And I think that you can create a lot of things and in particular love and money. This is beautiful. Really, really nice. So congrats to you on uh, turning on your heart light. It's really sweet. I'm going to leave it there. You guys are doing a great job. Keep it up. Go make those offers if you need to. And if you're waiting, you're right there. It's almost, it's about to pop off, okay? And uh, if you'd like a personal read, go to ComfySoul.com. Thank you so much for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. Hit the bell notification if you want to be uh, notified of when the next video comes out. And I really appreciate you being here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.